Action. Hello MTV and welcome to my crib. Take a look inside. So it is currently the festival of Sukkot where we Jews spend our days dwelling in these temporary booths called Sukkot, hence the name Sukkot. And um, during this festival we spend our time in the four walls of this temporary home and we sleep in here, we eat our meals in here and we just generally live our lives in here. So I'll take you around. As you can see the roof is not a proper roof. This is bamboo, it's called schach, and essentially it is the roof. You can see the stars through it, and the idea is that we rely on God to protect us in our sukkah and to keep us warm and dry, much like he did for the Jewish people whilst they were wandering through the desert. So I'll take you around, you kind of decorate it nicely. Over here we have what are called the ushbizin, which are essentially the guests, the spiritual guests that we invite into our sukkah. So we have them up, we've got Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, David, Yosef, Aaron and Moshe and so these are all biblical figures that we want their spiritual presence in our sukkah. Some people like to invite other guests as well, up to you who you want to invite, but those are the seven that most people have anyway. Um, we have here the bracha for Shachianu because on Sukkot we are doing certain mitzvahs, certain commandments that we haven't actually done throughout the rest of the year, for instance eating in the sukkah, or Shaking our lulav and etrog. So you might have seen some of us walking around with some trees and lemons over the uh, festival of Sukkot. So I'll just take you through what they are. We have our, it's called, I can't open it. It's called the Arba Minim, which means the four species. So we have here the lulav, which is a date palm. And then we have hadassin and hadassin and aravot, which is myrtle and willow. And then we have an etrog, which is a citrus fruit, and they um, represent the four kinds of Jews, um, for they have different senses, and we bring them together to show unity throughout the Jewish people, and we say a bracha, and then we shake it about in all the different directions. Um, so that is the lulav and etrog, i.e. the tree and lemon that you see us walking around with. Um, and if I just take you around again, um, you'll notice we've got some other brachas on the wall. This is the Muzanot bracha, which we make on foods with wheat in it. And whenever you're making a Muzanot bracha during um, Sukkot, you should do it inside the sukkah because it's a meal and you're eating something substantial, so you should be doing it inside the sukkah because the whole point of Sukkot is to dwell inside this beautiful home that we've created for the festival. Um, so we're looking forward to sharing this celebration with all of you and to celebrating with all of you. And if you've got any other questions, come say hello, come visit us in our lovely home. You're all welcome. <laughs>